beast, didn't they? Chuffed to bits. The smallest little thorn back there. I'm just concentrate on not leaving the rod over the side. And his eyes. He's got amazing eyes. Doggy in the boat. Called him mullet. There's a bit of weight to that, you know. And that's what we want, don't we? We don't want the same same all the time. We want something different, a good old show. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm out on the beach, beavering away. <laughs> Where am I today? Well, Warsash. I met Warsash. It's supposed to be five to six mile an hour winds, sunny, dry, beautiful by all, all intents and purposes. And it is blowing a hooli. I'm tucked in behind the shelter. New shelter. <laughs> Um, but I am fishing. I've got one rod out. I've got one rad, one rad, one rod stacked because I'm not going to burn through my bait yet. It's too early in the tide. I've got one out as a shot to nothing. What am I up to? So, five foot pulley rigs. What am I fishing for? <laughs> Honestly, I was on my way here and then I got a report from someone else saying they fished it last night and it was rubbish. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, lots of weed, rafts and rafts of weed, and I can see it all laid up the beach. So that means one of two things, either the weed's all now rafted and up on the beach, and it's done, chance to be a fine thing, or today's going to be a weedy session, we're going to have to fight through the weed. I'd like a hound, I'd like a reasonable hound, high single figures, I know I'm being very specific, but that's, that's what I've got in my mind. Single figures hat, Fing single fig. I can't talk today, can I? A single figures hound. Um, but I've also got some ragworm. So my target species for this year, I'd love to catch a stingray from the beach. So I'm going to keep on trying. Just keep on trying. Shot to nothing. Try, 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 try. So one rig, one rig all the time is going to have ragworm. Um, the one that's out at the moment, it looks bassy. It's surfy. The water's coloured. Um, I don't really even know if it's going to fish. It looks awful, to be honest. I'll give you a spin round in a minute. It looks bad. <laughs> I'll put a sprat, just a sprat. Just a three inch silver fish, penneled on a penel sort of setup, something like that. Uh, that's a 4-0 and a 3-0. That's a Kamasan, um, and that is a Kamasan. I can't remember even remember the pattern of that one, but it's a circle hook pattern for the penel at the top. So I've just got a rod out there. I've had to sit it really low on the stand. Again, when we spin around in a minute, I'll show you. But it's, it's choppy. The water is like mud. It is really stirred up, really dirty. Um, and this is what I'm fishing. So it's the five foot pulley rig. Um, the weights that I made on a previous making, um, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, so they're the Gemini's with the built-in solo splashdown. So that's my grip lead and bait clip. And then when everything is baited up, baited and weighted, ready for flinging. Because um, I'm more of a flinger than a caster. <laughs> that will all be all rigged up to a Gemini uh, pulley bead, clipped up, thrown out. And that's what we'll be fishing. Okay, it's a Tuesday night, it's a school night. I've got work in the morning. So I'm out and about. I've got a decent wrap of ragworm, not ridiculous amounts that you normally use for stingray fishing, but enough to get me a couple of really good baits out there. Give it a try. I'm gonna pick the moment for that. So I think I'm gonna watch the water, wait for it to calm down a little, and towards the back end of sunlight, the hour before high water and sunset, I'm going to put a big ragworm bait out, put them out for a couple, fish into darkness and see where we go. So I've got no tackle box, I've just got the rucksack, the shelter, tripod, two rods. Um, and that's what we're up to. So let's have a look, see where we're at. As you can see, <laughs> the water is absolutely filthy. We're tucked in behind the wind so I'm saving you from the wind at the moment um, but yeah that is what we got. thought it was worth going through a baiting up before I lose the light. It's going to be uh, 
it's going to be sunset soon so reasonable size ragworm a four row hook um, and I'm not using any bait needles I'm not using any elastic on this one it's purely feed the ragworm try not to explode the ragworm because it's quite a big hook for a ragworm to be fair um, onto the hook and then without damaging him too much just slide him down the line out of the way get the next big snake <sighs> get him onto the hook I always pull faces when I do this, can't help it got to feel sorry for the little critter I don't think I'd want a hook in me well, I've had a hook in me before now, it's not much fun it's not my idea of a party night um, just support him, slide him down so that's two then I'm going to go four I'm trying to pace myself a little bit you can't really, you burn through ragworm really quick with this when you're baiting up this heavy for, um, for stingrays it's not unusual to go through two or three pound of ragworm but I'm not fishing a full session so I've got nowhere near that amount tonight so when the rag's gone, the rag's gone you know um, one last snake I think I've got enough for two more big bait ups and then I'll have to go on alternative baits and maybe just concentrate on fishing for the hounds or pack it in school night tonight so it's a shot to nothing for the stingray I know I've got to put my time in get the time on the beach um, this one exploded a bit right so that's not a really big bait to be honest that's being quite miserly with the ragworm because I haven't got that much so all we've done is thread four or five ragworm up the line and if we look at the hook look at the worm they're all just all over the place so then we just grab them in our fist slide them down bunch them down gather them down to the hook just work them down and I'll just show you that that's where we're at at the moment just gather them down bunch them down and then that last one absolutely covered in ragworm juice and then with the panel hook this is the last piece so we gather them down take our turns hook the top ragworm and then holding the hook just try and compress it that little bit more and we end up with a big bunch of ragworm like that with the panel sticking out clear at the top big hook at the bottom what you can do if you've got a lot is bunch some worm up on that bottom hook I haven't got that luxury today I haven't got that many I've only got a couple maybe three or four baits worth left of the ragworm and this is the, the key part of the tide that I wanted to fish which was the top of the uh, of the first of the two floods uh, lay it into the uh, solo splashdown lock it into place and that is the five foot pulley baited and weighted ready to go out on the next one so I'm just going to lay that here inside the bivvy out of sight there has been a few dog walkers tonight I don't want to catch myself a chihuahua um, yeah that's how I've been baiting up when I've got a few pound of ragworm I've ordered three two pound for Friday um, we're gonna be out again um, I'll be a bit more extravagant I put a lot more on I'll load it right up maybe seven or eight ragworm good sized ragworm and hopefully it'll buy me more time out there because the crabs are picking that clean that's coming back absolutely clean weather's turned up a bit nicer guys down for the way of fishing I haven't seen them bring anything out yet either well, we're all after the same thing I think so here we go there's massive great big ragworm baits I'm putting out and they catch a tiny little smooth pup and I don't know if you can see in there just inside his mouth but there was a whole small crab yeah. 
a whole small crab inside his mouth. Tiny, tiny little smooth arm pup. Look at the size of that. <laughs> um, I'm going to get this little creature back. <laughs> He's tiny, isn't he? <laughs> Miniature. <laughs> a tiny little smooth arm pup. Right, I'm going to get baited and weighted. I've got another rig ready to go. Get this fired out. It's a gorgeous evening. Um, still hoping for a stinger. That's what I'm hoping for. And get this baited, weighted, and get it slung out. So I'm going to call the last cast. Burnt through my ragworm. Didn't have enough ragworm for tonight. I've ordered a lot more for the next session. Um, one little smooth arm pup. I don't really like calling them smuts. People call them smuts. Yeah, it's just a little pup, isn't it? Um, smut sort of does it a disservice, doesn't it? It makes it sound like it's something dog. I'd rather catch a smooth arm pup than a doggy. Um, and there's nothing really wrong with a doggy. So, just seeing someone go running up the beach, I don't know if he's hooked into something. Yeah, a bit interesting. Burnt through my ragworm. Poor preparation, not enough bait. <laughs> I was loading those up. And then I was trying to eke it out towards the end. But that's stingray fishing, I think. That's, that's the way of it. You've got plenty of bait. Two or three pound a sesh. Two pound, and I think you might even be cutting it light. Still keeping an eye on my rod tips. You never know, dear. Shot to nothing, last cast, you call it. If they want to come out and play, it's a gorgeous sunset. Couple of anglers fishing that way. Couple of anglers fishing that way. And here I am, stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> That's that song, isn't it? <laughs> Clowns to the left of me. <laughs> um, I've got my head torch up because I know when we go back through the, the track on the way back, it's going to get dark quick. The sun's just going down now. As soon as that proper dips behind the uh, clouds, it's just on the horizon now. As soon as that dips round, it's going to get dark quick. The camera sort of tricks you into a full sense of security because it, it's got gadgets in it that makes it look lighter. So yeah, unless something else happens, this is it from me. So, from me, from here, for now, until Friday, a couple of days time, <laughs> I'll be back. Um, be like a bad smell, you won't be able to get rid of me. Um, I want a stinger, I really want a stingray. Um, yeah, from me, from here, for now, it's goodbye. Tight lines, take care, happy fishing, and I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye for now. Welcome to the channel and to the beach. I've got two rods out, but I'm not fishing. Um, I'm being conservative. It's low water at the moment, just waiting for the initial flood. Where am I fishing? Central South Coast, um, a mark on Warsash, at Warsash, and directly up in front of me is Calshot over the other side of the water. Um, and what am I after? Well, today, very specifically, I'm chasing stingray. I'd love to catch a stingray, but very specific size, type, um, sex. I'm after small male stingray, very specifically. That's what is, if there are any here, that's what's gonna be here. Highly unlikely to be a large female. Large female or elsewhere. And it will be my first stingray, stingray caught from the shore. So I'm going to keep fishing this mark. Hopefully perseverance will pay off. Um, I've designed a rig for it, or not designed a rig, it's already been designed, but fine-tuned it for my needs. It's a five-foot pulley, Camasan size 2.0 hooks, in panel, and you'll see why when I, when I bait up. I'm not keen on using the panel for the fish that I'm targeting, but it is there to hold the bait in place and it'll all become clear. And on the pulley, instead of beads, I'm using rig tubing to act as a cushion. That was a tip given to me by Dean from Tommy's Tackle and Bait. Um, instead of the bead, using rig tubing as a cushion. So I'm trying it out. So I've got a five foot rig. Um, the weights that I made on the channel that you've seen, um, I'll try and tag in into the description how I made that weight with the components supplied by Gemini with the included solo splashdown and that's just for clipping down the bait and helps to eject it. Um, I like to use for this rig, because of the amount of weed that's in the water, I want it as streamlined as possible. Um, so I'm using Termalinks, solo splashdown, I need the grip lead, 
I'm using fine wire hooks because I don't want to smash the worm too badly. Um, all on a five foot pulley so it should, it, I'm going to cast slightly up tied and the bait is going to fish down tied and it should give instantaneous indications for a bite. That's the idea behind this rig for this species. Um, what else? So specifically male, targeting male um, stingray in the five to ten pound range. Um, if I pull one of those out today I'll be chuffed to conkers because if if I've targeted it, you know what it's like. If you target it and all, the plan all comes together, the rig, the bait, the location, the time, the tide, the weather, everything, um, and it happens, it makes it all the more sweeter. So that's what I'm up to. I'm going to do a baiting up in a sec, but I can see a dog making a beeline for me, so I'm not going to get my bait out just yet. We'll carry on talking to camera. Um, yeah, so I'm at Wall's Ash. I've got the igloo up, not the bigaloo. It's northerly wind, so we're nice and sheltered here at the moment. Um, I'm using the six and baits, the pen fathoms. I've got Asso Ultra Cast Mainline, and I've got Asso Tapered Shock Leader. I was using Ultra Flex, but I'm trying out, I'm trying out some tapered shock leader. And I've cut the first five foot off to match the line diameter on the reel, um, and using an Albright knot to tie the shock leader on. I, I actually walked out to feel for where the clay starts. Stingrays love grey clay or clay. Um, they'll sit in the warm and the clay's warm. It's had all day to heat up in the sun. And then as, as it comes down to dark, then they'll go off to forage, but they'll be sat there in the warm at the moment, possibly not even wanting to move. So I'm not gonna cast, I'm not gonna wang this right out. I'm gonna put it about 30 or 40 yards out. So it's gonna be a short, floppy cast. It'll probably go a snake's wedding because I'm trying to cast so short. Um, but no distance, one rod, and then I'm going to give it, fish one rod for a couple of hours, shot to nothing, and then I'll rig the second rod. I'll have it already rigged, have the hook trace unclipped, ready to bait up, and then we'll go for it in anger, eh, once the darkness starts. As always, thank you for joining me. Um, you're along for the ride, see what we can do see what we can catch. We may catch small hounds. There might be the chance of a bass. Other than that, it's fingers crossed, targeting stingers. That's what I'd like. Right, I'm going to get this out. Can't just sit here with no rod out, just in case. <laughs> you know what it's like. I don't think there's much point in putting one out, actually, but I'm going to put one out anyway. Right, so there we go. That was a really gentle flop. Uh, got some tension in it. So always set your drags, set my clicker. There we go. Auditable alarm as well as a as a visual. A little bit of tension into the rod tip, and we're fishing. We are one rod out, and we're fishing. <laughs> I should put these up. No, it's just it's too hot. It is a bit hot. Right. Get myself organised, get another rig ready, detach the snood, bait it up, put it in the cool box, have it ready to go. Oh, yeah, we're into something here. <laughs> the clicker just went off a little bit, and um, yeah, this was a fresh bait out. I've only just put it out. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet. I don't know if it's a hound. It feels a bit strange. It feels like it's swimming towards me actually. 
Is it a hound? It's coming straight at me. <laughs> a shock leader. Let's see what we can see. What have we got? What have we got? Oh no, it's a stingray. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, come on. My first ever stingray. <laughs> what a stunner. He's tiny. He's a tiny little stingray. <laughs> Absolute dancer. Look at him go. He's feisty. Let's bring the camera down here then. So you give it a good look. <laughs> stingray. <laughs> that was a good bite as well. Stingray. Let's have a look. I need to get some water for this little creature. Stunner. Oh, he's got his barbs, look. And his barbs are right down the end of his tail. Let's have a quick look. You see down there, look. That's the dangerous bit. A little male stingray. My first ever stingray. Get this gorgeous. up. Oh. cloth. Come on, mate. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay, let's look, just lay you down that way. Get this hook out, yeah. Here we go. The hook is just in the mouth there, and the hook's out. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, he's slippery. I've not handled one of these before, but I don't really know what to expect. <laughs> There we go. Let's get that on his tail and get control of his tail. There we go. Cool, they are slippery. See where his barb is. Right, his barb is right there. So I am a bit fingers and thumbs. I've never done this before. Um, but yeah, he's going back. Oh, there you go, bud. Just let him rest for a minute. Is he ready to go? Oh, he's coming back up the beach. Come on, bud. It's a bit weedy here. What an amazing creature. <laughs> I can still see him. He hasn't, he hasn't flapped off yet. Just want to make sure he just doesn't beach himself. There he goes. Wow. <laughs> Stunning. Absolute dancer. As predicted, a little male stingray. I didn't weigh him. I didn't want to put myself through that trauma. I didn't want to put him through it either. If he'd have been worth weighing, you know, if he was something special, then yeah, maybe. Wow. Just as predicted though, that's what I love. I love it, I love it. The rig, the bait, the tactics. Right, I need to bait up and get out. I might get another one. <laughs> what a stunner! You wouldn't believe that they're being caught here as well. I used to swim here as a kid. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> to say that I'm buzzing is an understatement. For it all to come together, the plan, the bait, the rig, even down to the weight, the tide, the weather, the water temperature, the location. I then to catch one and that was fourth cast I think that was. Third or fourth cast. Um, and I was just checking my rod because I just saw a movement on the rod tip there. That was a good bite as well. It was an initial clicker pull down and then a bit of a pause and I thought, oh, was that just, you know, what was that? Is it weed? Um, and then it was a clicker, 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 clicker. And, and off she went. Off he went.
Little male. The females are much bigger. Absolutely stunning. So, five or six ragworm threaded up the line, scrunched down, penneled in. He was just lip hooked, so with the disgorger, didn't have to go near his tail, put the cloth on the tail. Only what I've seen other people do. I've, I've never done it before. And the release was good. Um, I was a little bit worried. The thing that worried me the most was the release, trying to handle the fish, hold the tail, and get him away, but get him away that he was happy, you know. Um, and, he, and, and he settled for a while. And I think because he had the weed over him, he wasn't quite sure. And then obviously his little flappers went and off he went. <laughs> They're amazing creatures. <laughs> I've just the conkers. See each other bit. Right. Oh, there is something going on. There is something going on with one of my rods. <laughs> That's the same rod as well, because I've just fresh baited and put it out. That was a tappy knock. We might have another visitor. <laughs> oh dear. Right. I need to bait up, prep, and get the other get the other rod in and fresh baited because the crabs are stripping the bait. The, the, the water temperature is quite mild, so there's loads of crab activity. And 15 minutes and hooks are coming. I'm not going every 10 minutes. I just can't, can't turn around quick enough. Um, there's definitely something. Because I've got a funny thing with Ray, sometimes they've got to position themselves and because they're obviously just trying with their mouth and they can't, that might be like line knocks where he's, where he's foraging around, trying to get on top of the bait. There's definitely something going on with that rod at the moment. Right, I'm going to do some more baiting up. I'll get back to you in a bit. So unfortunately, the smooth arm that just went tearing off, I didn't press record. I haven't made a rookie error of filming like that for a while. Um, getting all a bit excited, I suppose. What a session. So I had the stingray. It was a good bite. Um, I just literally baited up, just settled down, just thinking about stripping the next line, uh, next bait. And the first one went tearing off again. Same rod that I'd had the stingray on. And it was a little smooth round, nothing of any size. I don't know, three and a half pound maybe. Um, but I just thought I'd have a quick look at the sunset. Sun going down, south coast. Doesn't really matter what I catch now. <laughs> it's rare that happens, isn't it? You target something, you catch something, you think, well, what next? Keep on going, eh? See what else we can get. <laughs> I just had a rattling bite, you know, like you do, you get all excited. And it was that <laughs> tiny, tiny little schoolie bass. I thought it was into a hound. I was gutted I didn't film that one earlier on. That was a good take as well. Press the, press the camera, but I didn't press record. <laughs> anyway, going to get this little critter back. Oh, oh, hang on, mate. Hang on. Let's get you back in. There you go. Ah. And he's away with a kaplop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the count so far. Stingray, a hound that I didn't film. Nugget and I. Um, and a little teeny tiny bass. Just going to bait up and chuck out. It's high tide. It's gone a little bit slack now. It's quieting down and then when the tide swings round I expect it to liven up again. Um, enjoying this session tonight, it's good isn't it? All a bit different, uh, all a bit different. So, let's jibber jabber in, I need to get on get and do some fishing. <laughs> Little tiny schooly bass. <laughs> so I've put the rods away, I'm just breaking down the rigs, I'm going to start packing everything else away. Um, time for me to say goodbye really but just a quick round up so the fella that was about 200 yards to my right further up the beach he come over and give me a hand when I caught that stingray um, he caught five decent hounds I'll say five decent hounds he said he had one double and the other four were all smallish compared to what you'd normally expect around here but I only caught the one and that surprised me they didn't take ragworm but they were smashing him up on crab and we know smooth hounds love a, love a crab bait and all the rest of it, but it's just surprised me the difference. He had five, I had one. Um, so I had one hound, one bass, and the stingray. But yeah, what an amazing evening. It's still nice. It's gone really quiet. So even though it looks really fishable, feels fishy, last hour, not even a nibble, not a knock, not a rattle, nothing. So it's time to call it a day, I think. 
So all that leaves for me to say is tight lines and happy fishing. Hope to spend time with you again sometime soon. From me, from here, for now, it's goodbye. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.